Howdy folks, morning all. So, little vid for the boys in the Waza Air group. I'm Alec, I'm the guy that created this group. There's another Boss Waza Air one, also done by a private guy who's based in the US. I'm actually based in Italy, as you can see. And it's hot. So, this morning I did a post, ass around, Matt jumped right on. And I had a problem with these buttons sticking. I think you can see on this one, I've scored it up a little bit, trying to find ways to press it in. Now, I've had a look inside this thing. I'm gonna try and chop a couple of pictures in to explain, and I'll post them in the group as well. But this is the other side of the Waza. Now, we had a post from a guy some time ago who opened this side, and this is where the battery is. I didn't open that. Disclaimer. If you don't know what you're doing with electronics, don't do this. Um, I know enough to be dangerous and I respect that. So I took a real chance here. I'm not saying you should do that. But as I travel a lot and as this can happen, I figure I may as well see what's what. So inside this, there's the speaker board. Then there's the main motherboard and a sub motherboard for the wheel here, which goes to a potentiometer in here and it holds the jack. I'm not gonna open this up again yet. Maybe if I do a mod and get some courage and do that, but you know, respect your 400 clams worth of Waza Air. Don't be doing stupid stuff unless you know what you're doing. <clears throat> so, eight screws, well, four screws here, and then four screws on the motherboard, one on the daughter board, and one other one somewhere, I think. Um, you can see it in the picture. One screwdriver. Da -da 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 -da. You can do it. It is delicate inside. Respect to the... Dudes in Thailand, dudes do that. It's probably more women because they're better with their hands at this stuff. Who built that thing? Because it's cool. Um, some delicate wiring inside. There's one little subconnector thing that you need to ease out gently. Take static precautions. You need to re-ease that in gently. So maybe a pair of tweezers or tiny you know, nose pliers will help. I did it by hand, but. You know, it's kind of at the edge of the limits of where I would want to go with messing around with delicate wiring like that. The enclosure is great. These things have been around the world once. They spent eight weeks in Madagascar in all that humidity. And not a sign of rust, damage, stress, or anything. The seal on these is intense. So, insert the second picture here. What happens in there is there's two screws and this assembly comes down here and locks in there. It's ex an extremely tight fit and I was thinking to just shave this down a bit so it would have more play, but I didn't. I just readjusted it and tried it out and it worked. So as you can see, those are gone. And that to me is a lot better than tying up you know, busy couriers and this time with the whole COVID thing going on and you can fix it yourself, fix it yourself. Not that you should be risking your gear. I think I've been clear on that. But yeah, top props to the guys and these were made in Thailand. I go to Thailand all the time. I had no idea there was a factory there for these, but I would love to go and see that. But yeah, fabulous. I've been avoiding the big pedal board for a day or two and these things just really great so this will all be edited together um if you like and do good stuff like and subscribe to my channel the mini mad scientist we have a mini mad scientist club where we do all kinds of crazy stuff as well and yeah welcome to all the new boys really hope you're enjoying these hope you have no difficulties i can now stop the gyro if i need but it hasn't really bothered me that much gotta be said still loving them this is now what 
eight months in. Cool stuff.